Hello and welcome to the first ever Dirt Rally 2.0 live stream. I'm Aaron. Sorry, you were going to say something. Go on. No, I just Go cheered. For it. No, I cheered because I'm it. very excited. <laughs> it's the first Dirt Show of Dirt Rally 2.0, so I'm very, very excited. It is of exciting. So I'm Aaron and I'm joined by the Ant to my deck, the Batman to my Robin, the Laurel to my Hardy. Me? You. Yeah. Uh, Christina. Me. I'm also joined by Ross, the uh, Chief Game Designer, and over just out of shot, you can't see him. But is uh, John our ra 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 uh, bur 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 bur, our resident rally expert? Nice, and by the magic of the internet, he's just appeared. Oh, he's there. Good, good job, Dan. <laughs> um, so, Christina, what are we going to talk about today? So, I don't know if you saw anything on the internet last week, but we obviously announced Dirt Rally 2.0 to the global press and some influencers and community uh, last week. It was at the Red Bull Gaming Sphere. We had a big old event. Um, we let people play the game. We had a cool trailer as well, and we had. This guy and this guy doing some interviews too, so we're going to just talk a little bit about that, talk a little bit about what you can expect to see from Dirt Rally 2, and then also field some of your questions, which I've got here. So thank you to everyone who sent in some questions previously. So um, before we jump into those, John, I believe you're about to uh, demonstrate how to do Argentina properly. No pressure. Are you, uh, are you ready for the challenge? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's New Zealand, not Argentina. Oh, is it? Sorry, I can't see that very well. So we're going to hit New Zealand first. Um, very, very exciting, and John is also very good. So no pressure, John, but show people how to play the game. Let's do it. Cool. So <clears throat> while John's doing that, we're going to, as I mentioned, take some community questions from you guys. So there's one big one that has been cropping up. So we're going to just address that straight away. Now, Ross, the VR community oh, have spoken. Um, about Dirt Rally 2.0 and their kind of desire for VR support. What What's the stance with that at the minute? So we won't be having VR in the game for launch, but it is something that we're listening to everybody's comments um, and all of all of the things the community have to say about it. Um, we are all ears, um, and if there's if there's an enormous demand for it, then uh, then yeah, we, we can do it. It's, it's no small undertaking, but if it's what people want, then um, yeah. We'll uh, try and get it done. Uh, we've got another one here uh, from Aris on Facebook, so thank you, Aris. Uh, will we have tyre wear? Yes, uh, tyre wear is um, one of the things we've, we've brought in, along with tyre selection. So players will have a choice of uh, how hard the compound um, is uh, in any given uh, conditions. Um, these will wear out throughout the stage, so uh, yeah, you need to, to pick carefully and uh, yeah, avoid having to do the entire second half of a long stage on uh, on nearly bald tyres. Okay, cool. Um, so I think we'll take we'll take one more as well. Um, so will this be a simulation game only, uh, or will we, there be gamer handling? And that's from uh, Jacques on Facebook. So simulation is is what this this game is about, uh, as opposed to Dirt 4, which has two handling models. Uh, this doesn't. This goes with the first Dirt Rally, where it's it's focused on serious, um, and uh, and yeah, everything's everything's built towards that. Yeah. So. Uh, a, a noob like me will just really struggle. Well, no, I think there's an opportunity for you to sort of find your starting point in the game. There's some of the sort of the lower powered historic stuff, uh, like the mini, which you can get to grips with in the same way that people do in, in real life. You know, start out in smaller front wheel drive cars and then, then start to work your way up to more and more powerful stuff. So it's still very much the, the Dark Souls of, of racing games? Then, uh, well, yeah, you know, that's, uh, that's what people want to call it. <laughs> so. uh, yeah, no, it's interesting. Actually, last week at the event, we had a certain gentleman who I won't name who binned it off on a corner about 20 times. But then when he finally nailed that corner, he said that turning up on the day was worth it just for like those two seconds where he felt like a superhero. So while there is a very steep learning curve, it's a very satisfying learning curve as well. Oh yeah, absolutely. You know, it's it's not it's not easy uh, to to do all these uh, do all these things in real life. Um, and so when you're able to uh, to replicate that in game, the, the, the feeling is uh, yeah, pretty special. I'm just sorry, I'm just watching John's feet. <laughs> it's like a ballerina, isn't it? What an absolute start! It's uh, he's incredible. I'm, I'm blown away. This is a, this is a, this is one of the first things I've actually seen uh, Johnny do his do his thing. So this is incredible. He's basically ruined all of our office lap time challenges <laughs> or stage time challenges, though. You know, before when it was it was just video game yeah. developers doing it. Yeah, we were having a, a whale of a time. Uh, yeah. But, but yeah, now that we've got a professional amongst us, uh, I mean, it's it's the fact that people seem to be paying him for coaching as well, yeah. uh, which has really really made things unfair. So is he is he banned? Is he permanently? 
banned from all of the of the of the competition. No, we we, we, oh. let, we let him take part and he wins, uh, <laughs> and then the rest of us scrabble around for second place. Yeah. Uh, so. I've seen a few people slip him a tenner. Just like, how do I do this? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, if that's the going rate, then I think I'm going to get involved as well. <laughs> yeah, so. I'll take it. I'll take some per personal coaching. So we have had another question from Kev on Twitter. So thank you, Kev, for um, sending it in. Are the stages that we'll see in Dirt Rally 2.0 based on real life locations, or are they are they generated by your stage again? So they're bespoke stages. Uh, so in line with with the first Dirt Rally, you'll be able to practice a stage uh, to to kind of learn the the layout. I mean, the track surface is going to change in that, but but they're bespoke stages, and yes, they are. Uh, they are based on real world locations. Uh, we have a kind of research team go out, look at uh, uh, all of the terrain and the, uh, the routes. Uh, we also use satellite data to make sure that we're we're modelling things as accurately as we can and we're able to. Um, and uh, yeah, the feedback we get um, from some of the the guys who've been involved in kind of WRC um, have said that this stuff aligns with what they've uh, they've experienced many many times so cool so you just touched on it there slightly we're gonna i'm gonna ask you to expand tell us a little bit more about how the, uh, the surface of the tracks will evolve over the course of, of dirt so um we have a system in place where based on where the player is in the starting order um the uh, the track surface kind of uh, evolves so the guys who are starting in positions one to five uh, you'll kind of find it's uh, slightly slippery as the material needs to be cleared away and um, from kind of fifth to tenth in the running order is the the ideal uh, running position um, and then kind of from 11th down to 150th you'll find that the surface is kind of started to rut up materials been moved to um, off the racing line um, and yeah it becomes a whole lot more challenging no so optimal running sort of places between fifth and tenth so you've got the loose surface that's been swept and it's you're not basically driving in train tracks yeah yeah okay. exactly Absolutely. So, we've got another question. Uh, this is from Chris on Twitter. So, will there still be daily and weekly events and challenges? Yeah, they were super popular, um, and so uh, we'll be uh, bringing those back. And um, there'll be a couple of variations on the themes as well. Uh, so, uh, yeah, yeah, should be uh, plenty to keep people uh, engaged. Uh, yeah. uh, we'll take one last one, I guess, and then we'll sort of. Well, should we join? Uh, should we join? Let's join John. John. Let's, let's join John on let's, board. Let's, let's let's have a little have a little watch and listen. Into four right opens of a crest. Into one right tightens. Opens. Into three left. Into five right. Into don't cut. Four left very long. Opens and five right of a crest. Opens long of a crest through narrow grid. And keep left of a crest into four right. Into slow, two left tightens, don't cut. Into three right of a crest. Into unseen, don't cut. One left long tightens. Keep right of a 30. Don't cut, five left. Into don't cut, one right long. Opens into two left tightens into one right opens of a crest into th three left and five right of a crest opens long of a crest slow four left long tightens one tightens into turn one right tightens Left of a 40, five right of a crest, very long tightens. Into four left long, into four right long, opens of a crest, 30, five left. So we're going to join Johnny for the for the final sector here, and uh, that was a hell of a save out, wasn't it? I thought that would have been, yeah. been off a mountain there. Oh, big moment. I'd have been swimming in the ocean. Um, to be honest, I would put it somewhere very far away from the track. But you can see he's keeping it really, really tight. Um, Johnny, what? Oh, he's, he can't hear me. Or maybe he can. I know he's very he's fast. He can look at him. <laughs> he can away. see me. What's your fastest time on this stage so far? Um, I think the fastest time I've done is seven. But the, so oh this is appalling, words. then. That's this is stressful. Terrible. I'm trying to show off, but more than that. <laughs> <laughs> more sideways, actually. It's not as quick as, uh, as I normally be, but yeah. 
to three left. Opens up a crest and jump lead. Yeah, so you've just kindly put it in chase cam so all the viewers can see what it looks like in chase cam. But I know that you're normally uh, a little bit closer to the action than, than uh, letting the camera hover a little bit further back. So have a look at that. I, I'm just going to ask it. Can you hit the marshals at the end? No. Ah, boom. <laughs> <laughs> That's just the child in me coming out again. Sorry. Um, right. Just before we dive into uh, dive into, so what are we going on to next? We're going on to South Africa next, is that right? Uh, no, we're going on to uh, Argentina next. Where did I get South Africa from? I have no idea. I just like South Africa. Uh, um, so here's a question from Here Look of Fork on Reddit, which is a great name. So congrats. Uh, is there any planned support window for this game? Uh, yeah, so uh, we know uh, what we're doing for the first six months oh. after the game. Um, and then we've got some ideas for, for the six months after that as well. Okay. So it's just kind of down to, to how much people engage and how much they get on board with uh, with what we do for the first six months. Okay, cool. Um, just another quick one here. Uh, this is, uh, so, WRX Supercars Support Series. So we'll have uh, some additional rallycross cars in there, such as a cross cart, uh, Super 1600s, and uh, a bit of RX2. Oh wow, okay, cool. The RX2 cars are amazing. They are, so I the WRX, WRX cars I think are an absolute handful, particularly the Audi, the, that was, that's brand new to, you know, Dirt Rally 2. But the, I think the RX2 cars are really good fun. Yeah, they are, uh, they are, are a good laugh. Uh, the uh, I mean, you mentioned the Audi there, yeah, the, the Audi S1 uh, supercar we've got in, um, and the Polo RX, um, and then there's uh, a couple of others, a couple of other new ones as well. So yeah, plenty to get your hands on. Um, I believe, but Johnny, are you ready to go? Two, two seconds. Two, just me waiting. He's two seconds. So have we got two anything coming in live there, Chris? What, what are people seeing? How, let's, where where are people watching from? Where where are you where are you watching this live? Yeah, no, today? you can tell us where you're watching from. Um, judging from some of the usernames, it, it seems pretty international, so that's quite exciting. But yeah, we are uh, we've just been around New Zealand, and that's in the Mark II Golf, which is a a big fan favourite. To be honest, I'm not going to lie to you. Yeah, it is. Uh, yeah, it was. You know, it's something that's, that's super popular around the studio as well. Yeah, from the uh, from the mid '80s, and um, but it's a good a good kind of first step as well for people to get their hands on um, front wheel drive, uh, kind of quite manageable. Uh, that's yeah, get in that and uh, give it a blast, and then see what you can work your way up to. Cool. So from official Whippy, I don't know if it's the ice cream. Mister Whippy. Yeah, that'd be very Mr. exciting. Mister Whippy. Hello. Um, we, we will we will take a sponsorship deal. <laughs> yeah. Carry on. Uh, he would like to know about multiplayer. So will multiplayer kind of involve rally as well as rally cross in Dirt Rally 2.0? Yeah, it will. Yeah. So uh, you'll be able to play eight player multiplayer. You can set up a championship of rally or rally cross or a mix of the both, um, and then yeah, play through that round by round um, online. Uh, you're able to do that with with friends or with uh, strangers, um, and uh, yeah, should be a lot of fun. Cool. I'm glad. I'm glad strangers in there. Don't really have any friends. <laughs> yeah. so. No. What's exciting is we have viewers from all sorts of places: New Zealand, Germany, Liverpool. Liverpool. Hi Liverpool. Hi Liverpool. It might be our other studio. It might be. It guys. might be from <laughs> uh, Germany, France, Estonia, Sweden, Finland, Portugal. So we are feeling very global. We've got someone from California as well. So. Wow. Yeah, we've got people tuning in from Why all over the world. Why are they on the beach or something? Like, no offense to our live stream. It's obviously fantastic, yeah. but I'd be on a beach like. If I was in California right now. <laughs> yeah, no, so would I. But yeah, no, it's very exciting. We've got lots of people watching and very excited. So Anyone from Newcastle, that's the most important thing. Anyone from Newcastle. Obviously. I'm assuming. No, just watching it, Roland. Lithuania. Slightly more exciting than Newcastle. Bit, bit Sorry, exciting, Aaron. Yeah. Bit more exciting. But yeah, no, every, lots of people from everywhere. So what sort of selection of cars can we expect to see in, in the next game? So obviously with Dirt Rally, we had kind of historic cars going up to kind of more modern day vehicles what kind of classes will we see for, for this this title it's a kind of similar spread um, we've got about 50 cars in the game for launch um, yeah going from the 1960s all the way through to the modern day so whatever takes your fancy really um, I know that uh, sort of mid 90s is particularly uh, particularly popular um, and uh, yeah so that's that's represented and plenty of others too yeah, cool. we've got some of the Colin cars, I believe. I think there may be one or two of them yeah. uh, in there, well, don't you worry. It wouldn't be right if we didn't. No, it wouldn't. <laughs> it, it feels wonderful to, to finally get kind of, well, not finally, because obviously we've had them in previous titles, but it feels it always feels amazing when you're driving one of their, 
Mr. McRae's old vehicles in one of these games, especially now with it looking so beautiful. The environment artists have done such a wonderful job um, on what we're seeing now. So really everything does feel massively uplifted from, from previous games. Yeah, it does. Yeah, the environment artists have done some incredible work, um, as have the vehicle artists and the, the animation team and character modelling. Um, really feel that, you know, the game sort of feels alive um, as you're going down a stage. And, oh, you know, I really think that sets us apart from, from others. Cool. Yeah. Um, I believe. Are you ready? Are you ill? Okay? Are you ready to do rock and roll? Right. We've had, we've had the thumbs up. We have had the thumbs up. We're ready. Right. So let's dive into. I'm going to get this right this time. It's Argentina, isn't it? Correct. Way well done. Five, four. Three, right. Do you know what? What we should do is we should just let Johnny take care of this. Let's switch us off. You don't want to hear us. You want to hear this bad boy. Unseen four left, 30, five left, 60 over bumps, caution, one left unseen. Into unseen, hairpin right, narrow. Into five left, 30, four right, into three left, into two right tightens. 30. Three left long tightens into hairpin left, unseen. Keep left of a 30, caution from cut, four right. Four left to unseen, one right small cut. Into four left. Keep right of a 30, caution unseen, hairpin left. Into unseen hairpin right. Opens. Into four right. Into unseen, open head in left. Opens. Into open head in right. Opens. Into three right of a crest. Into four left. Into one right on knees. Keep right of a 30. Three left long. Tightens two. Opens of a crest. Into five left. Into four right. Into four left long, bumpy 30. Slow two right long, tightens into open air and left. Into four right of a bump. Into caution, five left 30 of a bad bumps, unseen air and right. 30. Six right. 50, caution, keep right, don't cut, find left, 30, crest and one left long, tightens, head in left, into five right, into don't cut, find left, into one right, 30, keep left or crest and bump into one right, tightens, 50, over bumps, two left, tightens, Right of a 50. One left tightens. 30. Five right long. Opens. 80. Bumps and jump. Into six left. Into slow. Six right. Very long of a crest. Tightens. Heavy right. Don't count. 50. Crest. Three left small cut into four right. Fifty. Turn. Four left long tightens. Thirty. Keep right of a junction. Into four left. And don't cut. Three left. Into one right. Into six left. Fifty. Six right. 30, three left, very long, opens, tightens, one. 50, five right, into four left, into four right, 
Bond, Bond's 13. Caution, two left down. 60, bumps into four right. 13, one right long. Opens, four right. Into three left on cut. And keep right, 30, open air in left. 50. Slow four right of a crest long, tightens two. Into two left. Opens, 30. Six left of a crest, 50. Unseen, two right. Into three left on cut. Into unseen, two right, small cut. Into two left long, tightens. Into two right long, opens, tightens, head and right, tightens. Into one left, tightens, opens long, into turn. One right don't cut. Into two left long and tightens. Opens. Into two left long. Tightens one. Into one right long. Tightens heavy light. Thirty. One left long. Into six left and sudden. Insane. He's, uh, he's incredible, isn't he? I'm absolutely flabbergasted because um, I'm, if this was real life, I'm pretty sure I'd have died about six times. Ah, uh, it's, it's, it's absolutely bonkers. The, the best thing about Argentina is just how dicey it is, and you can see the undulation and the camber and how close you get to the rocks. Yeah. So for Johnny just to be doing this, just throwing it around like it's absolutely nothing is incredible. While we come to the end, let's just quickly talk a little bit about, about Johnny and Busy. That he is legit and, and also a little bit about his core drive left. Yeah, so Ross, tell us more about who will be, who, whose dulcet tones John will be listening to right now. Uh, so we have got world championship winning co-driver Phil Mills uh, doing the calls in this game, uh, who was Petter Solberg's co-driver. Um, and yes, yeah, Phil's, Phil's done some fantastic work for us. Um, it's, it's great to be able to get him in the game and, uh, and work with him. Yeah, we'll actually be doing a road book a little bit uh, later on in, in the campaign, hopefully next week actually, on the experience of Phil recording his co-driver calls because it's really, really interesting how it's done. It's not just done once. Um, Johnny puts him through various different levels of stress. <laughs> I think stress is probably the right word uh, when he's recording them. So if you're going quite slowly or it's a little bit pedestrian or you've just been reset, he sounds quite calm, and obviously, if you're throwing it around maximum pace, he sounds <laughs> distressed. Yeah, yeah, and th those guys work really well together. Um, so John does uh, kind of recce videos, which Phil can then write his notes from. Um, then John will do a feedback with with Phil and say that he wants certain things tweaked and changed. And um, then when Phil comes in to do the recording, we get Phil sat in his helmet um, with uh, the, uh, the intercom device, uh, sat in our motion platform chair, and give him a good old shaking around while he's uh, while he's recording the calls. And uh, yeah, I think you know it, it comes through really well in game. Yeah, one of my favourite things is speaking to Ollie Johnson, our dialogue producer, and sometimes he he can't quite believe that his job is to just drive someone into a tree several times so they get the right reaction. I said, ouch, or an ooh. <laughs> that would not be my reaction if I drove it with three, I'll be yeah. honest with you. We've got to keep it Peggy three, so yeah, all no, no. noise is uh, just about right. So, um, any, any further questions, Yeah, we've got Aaron? a couple more questions. We're going to obviously, we're going to dive into uh, a bit of WRX uh, next, but before that, yes, a couple more questions for you, Ross. Uh, so, will online multiplayer include rally as well as RX. So have you already answered that? Yeah, it does. Yeah, yeah you can you can make a championship of, of either one or both mixed together. Yeah. yeah. Uh, which do you prefer? If you're if you're racing online, which do you prefer? Oh, that's a tough call. Uh, I love. I, I mean, I I can't separate the two. It would be like picking between two two of your nephews and nieces, yeah. kind of thing. Yeah. More they're, my favourite though. They're well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I I I I think my preference. Is probably for rally okay. due to to how how long I've I've loved rally for, yeah. but then I mean rally cross is is awesome. Yeah. Um, so 
Yeah. Oh. I'm going to politely refuse to answer that question okay, properly. No, that's good. So, <laughs> I like it. Where did your like where did your love of rally come from? Like where did it start actually? I'm just interested in all that. Like, no one's asked that. I've just asked that myself. Uh, so I mean, I suppose um, when I was oh, I must have been about ten or something like that. I had a network Q rally uh, on the PC. Wow. Uh, so, yeah, I remember <laughs> trying to play that on the keyboards for like an entire entire school holiday yeah. um, and. Uh, and yeah, that was that was kind of where it really came from. I think you know my my dad was into into rally and motorsports and uh, and yeah, so that was that was where that came from. Um, yeah. I've still never my hands have never really recovered. You've from still got the six weeks. The so like that, claw. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> I like that. Um, and just one more question from not from anyone sort of online. It was actually came from Dan Hawkins over there on the on the on the mixing desk. Spectator mode, he's, he's keen to know about spectator mode. Yeah, so uh, when you are competing against other people in, uh, in rally or rallycross, yeah, if, you, if you're the first one across the, uh, the finish line, you'll be able to see how the others uh, are getting on. Um, then further down the line, once we start talking about esports and competitive multiplayer, then we'll start looking at whether we can do more with the spectator mode, uh, allow people a lot more sort of free choice what they're looking at. Um, so yeah, we'd be interested to hear uh, what it is that people really want from that. Okay, cool. I mean, there's a lot of people going to be watching us online. Then, yeah, I guess. <laughs> but I think that's a that's a really reoccurring theme throughout Dirt Rally 2.0. We are so eager to hear what the the fans want from the game. I'm certainly all ears on the kind of community front line, and I know you guys are too. And we've got you know a really great dialogue between us, kind of saying this is what they want to see, this is what they want to see more of. We've obviously worked with our community testers previous to announcing the game, and that's something we really want to kind of continue. So we want to continue listening, continue kind of giving people more of what they want. Yeah, I mean the uh, the sort of the private beta we'd been holding um, was was great uh, to be able to iterate on our handling and and get that out there to to people and have them feedback on it and that's been that's been key um, and yeah through you know our forums and and all of our other channels we, we like you say we're always listening to what people want what they want more of what they want less of how they think we can tweak things refine things um, yeah. Excellent. Yeah. So it looks as though I think are we are we ready? Yeah, I'm good. For We've had the, thumb, the, the famous thumbs up again. The John Armstrong <laughs> thumbs up. It's going to be a thing. So we're uh, very excited to get into this. You'll be driving. John will be driving Petter Solberg's uh, VW. So that is exciting because that's brand new to Dirt Rally 2.0 as well. Uh, and we are going around Trois Rivières, which is Canada RX for those of you who aren't too well acquainted with uh, RX. But hopefully you should be because it's wonderful. And it's the fastest growing motorsport at the minute. And it's brilliant, so let's let's watch Don on board. Ready to race. Three, go, go, go.
So, final lap now. I mean, yeah, I'm, I'm just lost for words, to be honest with you. It's, it's he's so quick. <laughs> um, but you can see how amazing Twa Riviera looks. Oh, it's beautiful, isn't it? And I mean, the sun setting and oh, it's, it's stunning. One of my favourite things about this circuit is that there is no cutting so on some circuits you'll hear Neil Cole a lot telling you uh, you're being looked at by the stewards for uh, corner cutting whereas this one if you try to corner cut there is literally concrete right there so you have oh, to be good. really technically um, able to be able to, to smash this and as you can see he is apex grazing all over the place and it's beautiful. Yeah, I've never never seen him clip the, the rear quarter of uh, the car around yeah. here. It's, uh, yeah. Here he comes then cross the lane, obviously he's went and won that. Let's give him a round of applause, everyone. Come on. Yeah. Awesome. Jamie, we're going to surprise you. Come and join us on the sofa. Come yeah, on. we're going to snuggle up and it's going to be wonderful. <laughs> we're going to get we're going to get nice and cosy and ask you some questions about Come on. what what you're up to with the game. So if you want to squeeze Still in. Still haven't got my shoes on. So. <laughs> <laughs> right. right, Johnny, you've been working with us for a few months now, which has been awesome. Um, how excited are you to finally tell people what you've been doing? Because we've been making you keep it a secret for a little <laughs> yeah, while. Yeah, it's, it's good to tell everyone what we're making and um, it's really exciting to see their feedback on uh, what they think of the game. So, I mean, it's it's really cool to be working on Codemasters because I've been a big fan of their games for years. So yeah, it's really cool. Excellent. So in terms of your kind of day-to-day -day stuff, obviously you've been helping out with the handling, but what else? Because I know you've been doing sort of things like pace note validation. Yeah, it's not just the handling that I look at, it's sort of all aspects, uh, pace notes, audio, it's uh, just a full consultancy job, so yeah, it's, it's to make sure every aspect is authentic as it can be. I've heard that you've been ruining um, office competitions, uh, <laughs> lately, and that your going rate is about, if someone slips you a tenner, you can, you can teach them your way. Yeah, it's sort of a going joke now, I'm, I'm <laughs> teaching everyone how to drive in the studio, but uh, yeah, it's, it's really cool whenever we have competitions and... It's good to see that everyone gets involved and tries their hand at, at the game and everyone's really competitive. I mean, out, outside of yourself, who's who's the best, would you say? You don't uh, have to say the man next to you either. If, just so don't let him in. That wouldn't have been the answer. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, I've answer. seen Ross <laughs> driving too many times. It's definitely not Ross. <laughs> <laughs> um, there's a couple of guys in Kiara and they're, they're really decent because okay. they do uh, benchmark as well. So right. they're probably giving me my best run for my money. So yeah. Okay. And I'm going to ask, who's the no-hoper? Ross. I might not get your contract renewed at this <laughs> rate. <right? laughs> um, so a lot of people were watching and saying that, that was some very nice driving. So the people have enjoyed watching you drive. Have you enjoyed this? Did you feel pressured or are you just really chilled out? Yeah, it was, um, it's pretty tough, especially Argentina. It's, it look, may look easier than, whenever, than what it is whenever I'm driving, but it's so tough to get through, through that without any mistakes. So um, yeah, it was a bit nerve wracking, but Rally cross was really fun. Um, had a good, good blast spinning so, the car around. And you've you've never competed in rally cross, is that right? So never, competed rally. never competed in rally cross, but I'm, I'm open to offers. You probably <laughs> <laughs> right into the camera as well. If anyone's watching. No, I think this is a really nice place to wrap up the stream. It's lovely for you guys to join us, and hopefully you'll join us for a few more of these because yeah. I think it's been good fun. Well, it's been stressful for you, but hopefully good fun. <laughs> I've had a lovely time. It's been lovely. It's a nice excuse to just sit on a sofa for a bit. So uh, I think we'll wrap it up there. But thanks ever so much for joining us. You can see us. You can watch this back if you want to watch it again, or if you've only caught little bits of it, it'll be available on our YouTube channel and other places. Uh, we're not kind of channel exclusive. We like to put it everywhere. Oh. That is Sorry. the wrong phrase to use. <laughs> thank you. Good bit of it. <laughs> yeah, but thank you for joining us and we'll catch you next time. So, thank you. Bye. Bye. Oh, I'm moving the wrong hand. This one instead. Sorry, Christina. <laughs>